It's in the box from White Acre Studio. I'm Cynthia and I'm actually in my kitchen getting ready to show you what's in the box this month. Um, we were just talking about the fact that we went a full year with no weather incidents, but we have finally hit January in Pennsylvania. We've had ice, we've had bitter, bitter cold. So I'm in my kitchen alone um, with way too much sunlight coming in the window which is very deceiving. It's gorgeous outside, but it's actually bitter cold. Um, so let's look what's in the box because we're looking ahead to February, the month of love. And we're gonna be making an adorable string art piece with a heart in the center that allows you to put in a bouquet of flowers of your choosing um, so that it's truly three-dimensional. So I'm going to show you what's in the box, but as you can see, we're going to be hammering some nails. So you will be adding to your arsenal of craft paraphernalia a, an adorable little hammer. So most important is you're going to be getting your instructions that are very detailed and very helpful. You'll be getting an outline of the design, which is a mason jar with a heart in the middle, all those little dots are your nails. And then you'll be getting the wood, which as you know, when you get anything from It's in the Box, is pre-played out for you. So you can see where the nails are gonna be going. So I'm gonna lay these things aside so I can continue to tell you what is in the box. There is a piece of, cardboard in mine, I don't know if you get a piece of cardboard, but if you don't have that, when you put your wood down on your table to work, you're probably going to want to cover it. And you're going to be wanting to work at a surface where you can tap the nails. This is not like building a house pounding, you're tapping, but it still would be good to have a sturdy surface. To encourage you along the way, you've got an assortment of flowers that you can use in the final moment when you are getting ready to display this. You're getting embroidery floss, you're getting pink for the heart in the middle and another color that outlines the mason jar. You're getting little nails, they're called linoleum nails, they're the tiny ones that tap things in. Very cute. You're getting a wet wipe and some brown paint, which I will explain. And here it is, here's, here's the crown jewel. You're getting this fabulous little hammer, which is gonna be something you use throughout your home for the rest of your life, all right? So I'm gonna set the box aside and just talk to you briefly about where you're headed with this project. And then you're gonna be provided not only the paper instructions, but a close-up view of someone doing the work. So. When you take out your board, you're gonna be using your wet wipe to use brown paint to cover your board so that you get the, the look of stain on here. And when that is completely dry, then you're gonna work at the surface where you begin to tap the nails. So if you follow your instructions, it's gonna suggest that you start at the left-hand corner and you're gonna be tapping your nails in and trying to follow the contour of the mason jar, the contour of the hearts. And then once everything is in place, you're gonna be using your embroidery floss or thread. And of course you would be knotting on the first nail and then you always wrap around the next nail before you go to the next one. I actually have never done string art, but the theory is, is pretty simple. You'll be able to look at the instructions, look at the video, and see how to work. There's gonna be detailed instructions about how to get your crisscrosses and your top of the mason jar. And then once that's all finished, it's really a question of just arranging both flowers, one flower, whatever it is you wanna put into your jar. I'm gonna cover my face of love. Happy Valentine's Day from White Acre Studio and it's in the box. I hope to high heaven you are warm and comfortable while you work. Bye bye.
looking freaking magical. <laughs>